Hey, it's Anfa and you're watching Anfa Vlog. Today I want to talk to you about Ardor and Zenfusion because I get lots of questions about these two, specifically about if they are free to download and to use. And because so many people are asking the same questions over and over, I decided I'm gonna make a video about it and then whenever anybody asks them again I'm gonna just point them here and that's more efficient. So let's get it started. Ardor and Zenfusion are both licensed under GNU General Public License. That means that the source code is and always will be freely available to everyone. That doesn't mean that the binary packages have to be free. And both developers of Ardor and Zenfusion are raising money by selling binary packages. If you have tried building anything from source, you know that it might get tricky and is often very time consuming. So, especially for artists, it might be not very convenient. However, the GNU General Public License also provides that anyone who has made their own builds can distribute them free of charge without the consent of the original developers or publishers. And some of them did. There is a convenient way to get both Zenfusion and Ardor for free. However, right now it only works for Linux operating systems based on Debian, like Linux Mint or Ubuntu, or a whole slew of other distributions. I do not know of anyone who is publishing custom builds for other operating systems at the moment. Alright, okay, fine, but maybe you will tell me how do I install it for Linux? It's simple! Three steps. First, go to kxstudio.linuxaudio.org slash repositories and read through. You will need to execute some shell commands, download and install some packages. In case you have never done that, I'm going to show you how to open a terminal emulator and execute the commands. So, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install kxstudio repositories using a fresh Ubuntu 18.4 installation. Here it is. I'm going to open Firefox to go to the Cake Studio website. So I'm going to drag this uh, window to the side of my screen so I can have a nice space here. Now I'm going to right click on the desktop and there is an option Open Terminal in Ubuntu. And that's going to open up a terminal window. I can also go to the application menu and type here Terminal and any Linux distribution out there will have something that will work for you. Because a terminal is a very basic Linux tool. I'm gonna drag this window here to the left so I can have a nice split screen. Okay, now the instructions on this website might change. For example, right now we have two sets of repositories for older and newer Linux systems and soon in the future these will be merged into one so there will be less instructions but for now we need to execute all of them and to execute a command from a website uh, we can do it very easily because this is basically a short shell script we can just select it and now it is copied to our buffer now i can just middle click with my mouse and the first command is pasted here during the process, you might be asked for a password because you're doing administrative tasks. If you haven't installed your own operating system, contact your administrator. I can go type in my password and the command will be executed. This installs a required apt transport HTTPS program. Now, not all commands executed before because uh, the latter commands were received as a password, so I need to paste them again. So I'm selecting. Now this downloads a DAB package that now is going to be installed into my system. We could do this all by hand, um, but, well, there is no real need to do it. Like, it's easier and it's safer to paste these commands from the website. So now I'm waiting for the installation to finish. All right. Now, here is uh, the next part with um, instructions for GCC5 packages. And we need to do this. 
I can also double click, do copy. Okay, yes, I need to say yes. Oh, I clicked the link. All right, now I can go. You can also paste with right click, paste, and then enter to execute a command. All right, and now the final command, I'm gonna right click, do copy, and here you can go Control Shift V to paste, because Control V would send a special signal. Once you're done with the instructions, your operating system now has a new source of software, the Cake Studio repositories, which are a great resource and allow us to get easily and quickly the latest and greatest software from all the Linux audio developers around the world. Second, your system doesn't yet know what new packages are available, so we need to refresh the cache. Run this command. I'm gonna go sudo apt update. And this will ask all the available software sources, including our newly added KX Studio repositories, about all the available packages. Once we do that, we can install Ardor, Ends Infusion, and a lot of other packages. Oh, there it is. Third and last, you need to install Ardor, Ends Infusion. Now, I can install Ardor. apt install Ardor. You see, I didn't add sudo in front of a command, and it asks, and it says, oh, cannot do things. I, I need, I need super user privilege. So I'm gonna add sudo and this will do it. 219 megabytes, yep. For Ardor, you can use the following command. And Ardor is now installed. I'm gonna run it just quickly to show you. Ardor, ta-da. And it is the newest stable version, thanks to Cake Studio Repository. Welcome to Ardor, yay. It works. Let's close Ardor for now and install Zenfusion. For Zenfusion use... Note the dash git part in the name. The Zenat SubFX package will install the legacy UI instead of the new shiny Zenfusion one. sudo apt install zenad subfx dash git. 100 megabytes. Zen Fusion is half the size of Ardor. Amazing, right? But it downloaded much faster. It's done. Let's run it. I'm gonna go for the application menu and type Zen. Zen at SubFX. Jax. Yep, here's Zen Fusion. Ta da! Once you'll be loading Zen Fusion in Ardor, keep in mind that the plugin is still named Zen at SubFX. So, searching for Zenfusion will not show anything. That's it! You've got Ardor and Zenfusion, you can make some music! You might also want to check out some of my other videos, where I show how I use them in tandem. There's actually quite a few of those. That's all! Thanks for watching! I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I would like to thank all the Patreon supporters, who are enabling me to dedicate more time to making videos like this one and less to doing other work. So if you want to see more and better videos from me, consider joining them at patreon.com slash anfa. Now go make some music and I will see you in the next video. Bye!